everyone, it's Kimber from Underwater Portraiture with Kimber. And today, Christmas came a little late for me. I just received my new underwater housing. I ordered it from Mosaic Cameras. Tal and his team are absolutely amazing at helping you figure out every single thing you need. So let's go through what I bought. Ultimately, I decided to go with Aquatica housing this time around. I've never used Aquatica before, but I've heard amazing things. I even have a friend who regularly goes to Antarctica, and she's never had a leak, and she just raves about their products. So I had to know what they were like. Currently, I'm shooting with a Nauticam housing, and while I love the quality, love the ease of it, it was just a little outside of a lot of people's budget. So I wanted to explore new housing so that I can adequately compare them for you guys. So the camera that I'll be using for this new housing is a Sony a7 IV, and I will be using the 12 to 24 f2.8 lens. So this first is the zoom gear. This is made for the lens to help it rotate so that I can get the full range of focal lengths. Let's open the main housing. We have a grip. A second grip, this is awesome. A lot of housings are only including one grip at this point, and I really like that I'll have two for extra stability. Here we have a tool to put everything together, a little wrench. And something I really love about Aquatica compared to some of the other housing brands is that with the other housings, you have to pay to upgrade to the vacuum pump system, but with Aquatica, it's included in their base package. Big plus, especially if you're gonna be scuba diving, going deep with pressure, you wanna make sure you have a vacuum pump system on your housing. Instructions, stickers, warranty information. Okay. And here it is. Wow. So first impressions, it's definitely larger than some of my other housings, but it feels incredibly rugged. A lot of my other housings have either a smooth polycarbonate or smooth aluminum, but this is textured and I actually really like the feel of this housing. The buttons are all large and also textured, which I think are gonna make it easier to grip and maneuver. And as you can see the back here, it's the A7 IV Pro housing. So this is depth rated to over 300 feet and I will never be taking it that deep. So I think this will be more than adequate for what I need. It has the buckles on the sides. And that was the main downside of what I heard about this housing compared to Nauticam is that without the screw system, it's a little more difficult to put together and take apart. The seals aren't quite as sophisticated, but this is the standard in underwater housings. And from what I've heard, there haven't been any complaints. This looks fantastic and I cannot wait to try it out. So here's the port extension with lock. And every time you're going to use a new lens, you're going to need to get a new one of these. Packaging is not made for arthritis. So here we have it. This will attach on and the dome port will go to this. And last but not least, we have the dome port. Wow, this looks like a beautiful piece of glass and I cannot wait to try shooting with it. I'll be testing it out this weekend at the Springs. So some comparisons that I really like with the Nauticam compared to the Aquatica is that both are really rugged, both are rated for more extreme diving, extreme environments, but the Aquatica housing comes at a much friendlier price point. 
So first I guess I'll share some pros and cons compared to my current Nauticam housing. Some of the cons of the new aquatic housing is that it is significantly heavier, it's bulkier. The clips are definitely not as easy to manipulate as my Nauticam housing, especially for someone like me who has arthritis. However, I love the price point of this compared to the Nauticam. It's almost half the price. Additionally, this is manufactured in Canada, whereas Nauticam is made in China. So I really love that these are made here in North America. They have prompt shipping and the invoices are easy to understand and customer service is phenomenal. I also love that the vacuum system is included. With many other brands, it's usually a $400 upcharge. So this was fantastic that it's already included. I have a lake detection system and I didn't have to pay extra for it. They made it really easy to shop. They included two pistol grips. They included tools that are needed. And I really love the option to get the wider lens for the dome port because this is going to make shooting split shots a lot easier. Compared to the Ike Light, this is definitely a more sophisticated system. It's rated for more depth. It's more rugged construction. However, something I loved with the older Ike Light housings is the transparency. I could always see what was going on in my housing. I would say weight wise, they're about comparable with bulk. However, this has, the, once again, the included vacuum pump system and it has a more rugged construction rated to a deeper depth. So all in all, I will have to see how this holds up and if it ends up being a great purchase, but I'm excited to test it. And from what I've heard, Aquatica has great glowing reviews and that they seem to be a really up and coming player in the underwater housing industry. Photographers, feel free to join my Facebook group, Underwater Portraiture with Kimber. We regularly post gear comparisons, safety information, and so much more. Everything you need to get started shooting safely underwater. And if you like, check out our workshops. We will host one in 2023. You can find more information at water-workshop.com. Thanks and hope to see you there.